Alright, so hey guys, Henry here. Um, I'm really nervous right now because it's like my first YouTube, like the first real YouTube video. Um, on my Instagram, I asked you guys to send me questions for a Q and A. That'd be the first thing I would do. So I picked some and we're going to go over them. Yay! So here we go. Alright, so the first question was um, my biggest goals in life. My biggest goals in life are just to be who I want to be and not to worry about discriminations, one. Two, fully transition, I guess that intertwines a little bit. And then I'm um, just not have to worry about money, ever. I never want to worry about money. I want to have a job or I want to worry about money, like, ever. Alright, second question. Um, there was a zo uh, zombie apocalypse, where would I go and what five items would I take? Uh, there's a zombie apocalypse, you best believe I would be locked up in a Walmart somewhere. Walmart has clothes, it has water, it has bathrooms, and it has guns. I would be in a Walmart, and I would take five items. I would take my Spider-Man blanket, I would take my longboard, it's two. I would, um, bring a notebook and a pencil. I can't think of five items. <laughs> um, candy, I guess. I like candy a lot, that keep me going. And a camera if I could, I guess. Alright, that was awkward. Next question. Um, where do I get my clothes from? Uh, my clothes are from primarily PacSun and Zoomies. Next question. How did I meet Chandler? I met Chandler at school. I, um, I had seen Chandler around school a lot, like in the hallways and stuff like that. And then uh, Chandler, was, Chandler is the president of the Gay Straight Alliance at our school. And uh, they messaged me on Facebook and they were like, hey, come to this meeting. And I was like, cool. And that's how I met Chandler. Uh, I want to save that question for later. I have them on note cards as I'm a nerd. Um, if I could meet any celebrity, who would it be? Taylor Swift. I would meet Taylor Swift. Come on, guys. Y'all know Taylor Swift is my babe. All right. Um, how tall are you? I am five foot even. I am a little shorty. And, um, it sucks a lot. My mom's five foot, and then my dad is six two. I literally got the short end of the stick, people. Come on. Alright, um, what's my favorite food? Okay. So my favorite food is what you do. You make a, you make a grilled cheese sandwich, right? Like, you make, like, half of it. French fries in the oven. French fries come out, they go in between the cheese and the bread. Grilled cheese french fry sandwich. You gotta try it. I'll make a video of me making one. Oh my gosh, I'll do that. Oh, that'd be a good video. Alright, um, my favorite sport. My favorite sport to, like, watch, like, on TV or, like, l live, I guess, would be football. Go Philadelphia Eagles. Yes. P half y'all are probably Dallas fans. I know it. I can feel it in my bones. And then, um, I longboard. If that's a sport, I do that. I rode horses competitively for seven years. Horseback riding is a sport. Okay, next question. What is my zodiac sign? I am a Scorpio. My birthday is November 6th. I am a Scorpio at heart. If you look up traits of a Scorpio, it scares me reading them because it makes me seem like a total asshole. Next, tattoos. Okay, I have two tattoos. I have this pocket watch on my right arm. Uh, the pocket watch represents my grandfather. He's still alive, don't worry. Um, it's just my grandpa's always been there for me and he's always been, you know, my one of my, I love that guy, he's my grandpa, so that's for him, and then I have the werewolf, the werewolf represents transformation within myself, and then the transformation I'm getting ready to go through, and then I get my next tattoo on my 18th birthday, everyone's been commenting on my teeth, my teeth, everyone's like, your teeth are so white, or your, your teeth look really good, man, I had braces, I should probably get top braces again, because these teeth are fucking up, because I don't wear my retainer, I'm a bad person. Next. Um, if you come out to your parents and what was the reaction? I came out to, I came out to my mom as lesbian at first and then I came out to her as transgender. Um, her reaction to me coming out was gay. She was like, I knew it. She was like, I knew you were a little different. And then um, when I came out as trans, it was automatically like, it was like a whole new world for her. Like she, it took her a while to actually like the thought of that to set in her mind and it still does. Um, speaking of that, there's another question, um, is my mom ever going to be in any of my videos? I have no idea. That'd be a cool thing to try to get her to do. Um, so in my bio on my Instagram, I state that I'm a theater child. 
and um, this person wants to know how many shows I've done. I was in a one act for my school back in February. I was in the one act, and then um, I'm actually more on the production side of it. I've been in theater productions for four years now, and um, I'm getting ready to direct a show for my school coming up, uh, like in next. I oh, hit my hand on the box. <laughs> next, um, like next February, I'll be directing a show for that. I'm house manager for the show we're getting ready to do coming up in December. So. Alright, the hardest part of being a transgender person. The hardest part of being a transgender person, for me, is personally two things. Is being, like, loving yourself and being comfortable with who you are is one of the biggest, like, struggles that there is. And also dealing with, like, bigots and ignorant people who ask stupid questions and make stupid comments. Um, it's very hard to love yourself when you're not who you're supposed to be. It's a kind of a hard concept to grasp, but it just, it, it is. And then um, people being judgmental or, you know, asking the wrong kinds of questions and all that good stuff. So, Where do you live? I live in Richmond, Virginia. Richmond's a city, I'm not going to say what county I live in, but I live in Richmond, Virginia. Uh, East Coast, all that good stuff. Alright, birth name, what is your birth name and um, why do you go by Henry? Um, someone asked that on my Instagram, my Instagram post, and one girl was like, it's really disrespectful to ask that. Like some, it just depends on the trans guy, like the trans guy or girl, like it just, some people like really don't like talking about it and some people do. I personally don't care. My birth name is Hannah, and I got the name Henry because I wanted to keep something with like an H, because I'm still the same person as I was, it's just, it, you know what I mean. And then, um, so I chose Henry, I thought Henry was a really like, um, like a gentleman's name, and I'm tr I truly am a gentleman. So that's why I picked Henry. Alright, advice for coming out if you haven't already. One, do not come out to anybody if you feel like it is not safe for you. Do not come out to your parents, do not come out to your friends, don't come out to a teacher if you feel like your life will be in danger because of it. If you feel, if you legitimately feel like you will be kicked out, disowned, beaten, do not come out. Wait. I'm, like, I'm sorry that sounds bad, but do it. And, you know, just come out in a way that it's relatable. Like, I'll, t I'll tell you, I came out as trans to my mom. I came out as trans to my mom. Um, it was like last summer before school started. I got a college thing in the mail. It was at all girls school. My mom brought it upstairs into my room and I looked at it and I started crying. And my mom was like, what's wrong? I was like, mom, I, I can't go to this school. She was like, why not? I was like, because I'm, I'm not a girl. And that's how we started talking about it. Just bring it up in a relatable way. Don't just come out like, don't like bust in and be like, oh, I'm gay or don't, don't, don't do that. Okay, so those are all the questions. Like, there's like, I had like over like 140 comments on my Instagram of questions. I really appreciate it. I like, I have one video up and the support already is ridiculous. You guys are amazing. You guys are so cool. Um, okay, so add me on Instagram at henryholt00. Um, my GoFundMe will be in the description below. And then um, that will be down there. My Instagram will be down there. And then, um, my Snapchat is on my Instagram. Feel free to Snapchat me. And then, um, I will let you guys know about the next video. I love you guys. You guys are so cool. And I'm sorry this video has, like, no cool outro or intro or music or anything because I'm not editing this video. But I love you guys. And thank you so much for the support. And I'll see y'all around. Later.